G20's Environment and Climate Change Working Group meeting is taking place in Chennai, the capital of Tamil Nadu. And we have Camilla with uh, uh, Mexico, who is the D DG for, uh, Director General for Global Environment. Uh, Camilla, what has been discussed so far in two days? Yes, so we have been discussing how we can uh, put a more ambitious climate action and also protect biodiversity and address land degradation, which are mainly the priorities that have been set up by the Indian presidency for this G20 environmental and climate change ministers meeting. Um, um, we do have uh, a concrete uh, deliverable on uh, what the blue ocean economy should look like on, on specifically land restoration. But we are yet uh, to see some commitments as G20 on uh, further climate action. A lot of people are, you know, uh, discussing about this fire and for fire in forest, yes. and we've been seeing that, uh, you know, in recent years, uh, many uh, such incidents have taken place. Was there anything concrete come, you know, uh, been discussed or any sort of solution have come up? So that is the thing, that we have yet to act as a collective a group, given that we are uh, responsible of uh, most of the fossil fuel burning that I, is causing this forest and droughts. And um, there has been immediate responses, but mostly as humanitarian aid, not as preventive measures. So one thing that we need to address is particularly land restoration. And there is a G20 initiative undergoing with the UN Convention on to Combat Desertification. Um, but there's uh, not enough resources flowing to address us, and that's why we are seeing an exacerbation of natural disasters, as you have mentioned. Is this the first time you're visiting India? It is the first time this year. I have been coming to uh, various G20 meetings, but I have to say I feel, feel quite at home coming from Mexico. We have a lot of uh, uh, very similar uh, food and uh, spicy food and colorful dresses. So I love the culture here. As you can see, I am already wearing one and, and uh, I've been amazed at the diversity and just very happy to be here. What is the best thing you like? Um, I would say the food and particularly uh, because uh, I love curry and I love spicy curry. Um, I've been, been able to sample. I didn't know there were so many varieties of it. So, so what all? Is there anything you have bought for yourself or family uh, while going back for them? You couldn't have the gift. <laughs> oh, yes, of course. I have some lovely silk uh, um, dresses and, and uh, the traditional attire. I've, I've, I've bought a few for this uh, meeting and some tea. That is uh, very good, uh, uh, Chai, and, and I, I, I also have brought some spices along with me. So what made you to wear this Indian dress today? Well, to show that I uh, respect Indian culture a lot and that I admired it a lot. And I, India is the host and I do believe in enlightening uh, just these beautiful dresses, colorful, and uh, make sure that uh, we can exchange not just idea but also cultural insights. She likes Indian culture, tradition, and especially the spicy food of India. With camera person Subramani Ritesh Ranjan, DD News Chennai.